his five totally awesome things about Street Fighter V that serious Street Fighter players cannot get enough of. Number one. It got rid of so much of the scrubby bullshit that you could do in Street Fighter 4. You remember all the crazy things that you could do in Street Fighter 4? Do you remember how lenient the Sherry Yukon input motion was? It was like every single motion input in the game would give you a Sherry Yukon. Down, up, down, back, left, right, left, right, Sherry Yukon. What? What? You remember how flipping broken the game was? Proximity option selects, unblockables, you could knock someone down and then kill them just by using unblockables. Capcom played it a lot smarter with Street Fighter V. You actually have to know how to play the game if you're gonna win. Maybe that's why scrubs don't like it. Hmm. Number two. It's really well balanced. <laughs> One of the most important things of any fighting game is how well balanced it is. You want it to be fair, no matter who you're playing. You remember when Yun and Yang came out? Everyone used them because they were so broken! So broken! I mean, seriously, those Canadian combos, that was just crazy, wasn't it? Street Fighter V is one of the most balanced fighting games in the history of fighting games. You can play literally any character in Street Fighter V and be able to win fairly with them. There are some characters that people quite haven't quite learned how to use properly yet. Rashid, uh, Fang. People haven't learned how to exploit their stuff. But they're still good characters. And in a few months, certainly by the time the EVO 2K16 rolls around, you're going to see that this is one of the most balanced fighting games of all time. Want to see my kung fu? I'll show you. Number three. Street Fighter V is actually for the community. Do you know why Capcom put Street Fighter V out a little too early? Do you know why they didn't hold off and just wait until it was complete instead of releasing it and then giving you a bunch of free DLC? Because of the Capcom Pro Tour. Oh, oh, oh my days! I'm meant to be- Oh! oh, oh He's gonna set up! Tournament organizers need to know when to put the game out so that tournaments can run on time. Count in the count round in the three, two, one, or everybody show you can. Personally, I would much rather have a game that's 99% complete with an excellent tournament calendar than a game that's 100% complete with a rubbish tournament calendar. My iron body is invincible, so beware. Number four. Street Fighter fundamentals are at the heart of Street Fighter V. Street Fighter IV was crazy gimmicky. There were so many setups and blatantly broken mechanics that you could exploit and everyone got salty about it because it was crazy. Street Fighter V does away with all that. Street Fighter V puts fundamentals above everything else. You're not gonna see people mashing up cut or wake up for instance because of the punish. And you're not going to see people mounting a comeback just by burning an entire super meter and then an entire ultra meter. That stuff was crazy. Thankfully, Street Fighter V does away with it. If you want to win in Street Fighter V, you have to be legitimately good. That makes it a much better competitive game. Number five, you actually have to think in order to win. Boom! That's how you start the fight and finish it quickly. There's no focus attacks, so you can't just show you can and then get out of jail free off of it. The throw window is way tighter 
You can't crouch tech. So much of Street Fighter V means that you actually have to use your brain in order to play it. And that's a great thing. By the time EVO 2K16 rolls around, everyone's going to realize why Street Fighter V is one of the most competitive fighting games of all time. Hey everyone, so that's my video for Street Fighter V done. If you enjoyed this video, remember to vote it up and to subscribe. Thanks for watching.